Hey friends, it's time for another episode of Behind Closed Doors. Behind each door is a short horror experience for us to check out. This is an awesome opportunity for us to find something unique, surprising, and hopefully special. Before we get started with the episode though, I would like to encourage you guys to do something. Think of someone very special in your life who you haven't talked to in a long time. Someone that is very important to you, someone that you love. This week, reach out to that person, say hi, catch up, something simple. It might be easy to think, oh, well, they haven't reached out to me in that time either. They could be thinking the same thing of you. They could be waiting for you to reach out. Break the ice, reach out. It'll make them feel special. We need to find more ways to remind the important people in our lives that they are important to us. And randomly reaching out is one of them. I love you guys and I hope you're safe. With that being said, let's open door number one. Okay, so our first game is called Jack in the Box. My son James keeps talking about this clown named Laughing Jack. I believe it's just an imaginary friend like any parent would. But ever since that day when he first talked about him, <clears throat> strange things started happening. And I'm having nightmares which look very realistic. But everything is in black and white. Oh, wow. They weren't kidding. It's something about... The way the camera's moving. Yeah, this is... What's happened here? Are we at some sort of fairground? It looks closed up. I can see some tents there. Like some sort of fairground, some sort of circus. This is very strange. I know this is based on a creepypasta. But I can't remember which one. Okay, we can run. I gotta say, the running effect is pretty good, too. All these are boarded up. Can't go on the slide, unfortunately. But this... is one of those realistic nightmares that they were referring to earlier. Connect. Handle's missing. Oh, okay. So we gotta go find the handle. And the sky went pitch black. Right. Hmm. Well, let's look for that handle. It's gotta be somewhere around here. This, uh, park isn't too big or anything. But I get a very distinct sense of dread now. And it's strange because it wasn't this quiet before. And was the wind blowing more before? It seems that way. I don't think there's anything in any of these things here. Maybe at the bottom of the slide? No. So where is it? Oh, here it is. It was by the swings. Okay. So now we can head back and see what's going on. What is that in there? You guys see that in the... What is that? A set of eyes? Oh, there's a set of eyes in all of these. Well, some of them. Jack in the box. Well, here we go. I always hate these things because they're a jump scare. And now we're surrounded by them. Oh, no. This is so creepy. Okay. <laughs> I was bracing myself for it.
It's not over? So the jack-in-the-box popped. We heard something. And now we're here. Oh my god. Isn't that my son's toy car? Have we been brought inside of... No, this is way too big to be any of those tents. Sorry, I knocked something over. Oh my god! I don't know what it is about something sprinting toward you that is so scary to me. Those are always the times in these videos where I get jump scared the worst is when something just sprints at me. Not a loud noise or anything like that. Oh my god, that was so creepy. The imagery was creepy too. And that one got me. And there he is with my son. And now we're not dreaming anymore. It's not black and white. And someone's rooting through the kitchen. Need to grab a knife. We gr okay, they're not in the kitchen. Whoever you are, you're not taking my son away from me. This house is beautiful. Jack! Stop it! Oh, my son's room. <gasps> no. The bed is covered in blood and my son is gone. Everything is strewn about the room. There's his car. And the black and white jack in the box from our nightmares. <laughs> Laughing Jack. Still got me. He's right behind me, isn't he? This time, it wasn't just a nightmare anymore. <sighs> that was creepy. Okay. That's... Might be in contention for the scariest game we've played in... Behind Closed Doors. That was really good stuff. That was... That was effective. Um, let's see what's behind door. Number two. Behind door number two, we have a horror game called The Lights Went Out. And without further ado, here we are. For some reason, I feel like this episode is going to be three awesome games. I don't know why. My name is Oliver. It's not easy to tell the story. Hmm. I worked nights at a gas station. Every day I took the same route with my car. Starting with some story here. But that night, I discovered what hell is. And that's how the lights went out. What does that mean? I discovered what hell is. What do you mean? I stopped on the road to take a piss. I was already late for work. I need to keep driving. 
So we're recalling. He's telling the story. And we're playing it back, I guess. Well, let me go ahead and get back in the car. Okay. Car not starting? Come on, we gotta get back on the road. There we go. Okay, so now we're driving. It is foggy outside. I can hardly see a thing. Working at night is not easy. It seemed like I was always tired. I feel that. I don't work nights, but I do always feel tired. It's not the darkness, though, that'll get you. It's the fog here. I should have taken my car to the mechanic. It had been showing defects for a long time. Yeah, we tend to put that off. It's expensive, and... Sometimes just not in the budget or, you know, who has time for that. But I wasn't used to solving my problems so quickly. I was settled and following a routine. And do I know what that's like? It's easier just to stick with your routine sometimes. Stuff pops up in life and it's stressful to even think you might have to deal with it. And now, because we've put it off, our car's broken down. Great. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. This road is long and inhospitable. Well, at least the moon's out. So what do we do? Do we walk? No way we actually walk, right? Do I have something in the trunk I can use? I just walk? Let me get off the road. There's no way we're walking home. Guided only by moonlight, I can barely even see what's in front of me. Then I remembered there was a house near here. I see it every day. Well, that's convenient. This whole area just looks the same. Where's the house? Where's anything? I can hardly see. There's a house near here. I was feeling a strange sensation. Something didn't seem right. I don't have a flashlight or anything. This is one of the darkest games, literally, I have ever played. I can't see anything. I'm gonna keep following the road. Oh! <gasps> there we go! A house! After walking a little, I saw the house. I decided to go there and ask for help. Yeah, but if a stranger just came to your house... What would you do? It looked like a normal house, but I didn't see anyone. Lights are all still on, even upstairs. Fireflies are out, and looks like so are the moths. I knocked on the door, but no one answered. I decided to go around behind the house. I really like how this is an event that's already happened. We're playing through it, and it's being narrated to us. I don't, don't see anyone in the house. Uh, what about over here? There was an open door. I decided to go in. I really needed help. So we're just walking in. The house had a strange energy, and the smell. A horrible smell. Yeah, the house is filled with bugs. Laundry. Ugh. Has anyone been here in a while? The house really looked abandoned. I needed a phone to call for help. Maybe upstairs? Hello? Anyone here? The smell was unbearable on the second floor. There seemed to be something rotten.
Oh god. I will never forget that scene. Dismembered bodies, lots of blood. I needed to run away from there. Oh my god. Well, the people who have done it are pro I was gonna say they're probably gone, but that was wrong. They were waiting at the bottom of the steps for me. How long were they camping out there? I ran down the stairs, but there was someone standing there, waiting for me. Why were they still there? He wore black clothes and a sinister mask, so I ran back upstairs. What is that on your bed? I was very scared. I couldn't think straight. I decided to hide in a closet. No way he didn't find me. Suddenly, I started to hear some footsteps. Oh, now I'm back here? I was motionless. I could only see through a gap in the closet door. Oh, crap. Oh. I see him. Look at me turning my head, trying to get a peek. I can't... There he is. No way he doesn't open the closet, though, right? There he is. He has to check here. He knows I went upstairs. And if he didn't hear me jump out the window... I decided to come out of the closet. I needed to get away from there as quickly as possible. Is he here? The garage door was closed. I was trapped inside the house. No way. What do you mean, trapped inside? Oh my god, I thought he was there. I'm really nervous. The garage door opened. All I thought about was running away. Run! Um, I can not really see where I'm going. How do I get out? I can't see. The game is so dark. Oh, right, that was the backyard. I ran toward my car. God, this game is dark. It felt like someone was watching me. Well, my car's not gonna work all of a sudden. It's all the way back there, and it's still broken. Oh! So, wait a minute. For some reason, he left me alive. Oh, but my life changed forever. Why did he leave me alive? As he cut my face, he said, I'm giving meaning to your life. I love seeing the landscapes. I love seeing the sunlight reflecting on the plants. Oh, did he blind him? Now, I live in the dark, always hiding in the shadows, but I can't give myself up. So, I said to myself... So, I said to myself... So, I said to myself... Yeah, his face is cut up. The lights, that's what it means by the lights went out. Could have also been referring to the fact that basically the game is being played with the lights out. Uh, 
throughout the whole thing. Awesome stuff. That was a really cool condensed experience, honestly. Great stuff. Perfect for this kind of, you know, behind closed doors setting. So, uh, yeah, I enjoyed that. But of course, we have one more game. Let's check what's behind door number three. And our final game for this episode is called Trust the Watchers. I don't know anything about this game at all, just like I do with, you know, every game we play on this series. Here we go. On a small clearing in the woods, we find three souls around a small fire struggling to stay warm. Three days of non-stop rain. These woods have been forsaken by the gods. Why must we watch over this cursed land? Seems to be in medieval times? I'm covered in mud and freezing. This post is a waste of time. Complaining is not going to make this fire any bigger, old man. We need more wood. Don't you dare look at me. The old man is too tired from starting the fire in the first place. And every piece of wood is wet around here, in case you haven't noticed. It's time for the rookie to earn his place. Did you hear that, rookie? It's your time to shine. We need some dry wood, so grab that axe and go into the forest. There must be something out there that's not soaking wet. Find dry wood and return to camp. Press F1 for help. Alright, well, we need the axe first, right? Where'd you guys put it? Oh, it's in my hand. Hi, horse. Okay, well... There's gotta be something. Man, these games are all really dark today, aren't they? This is a special kind of... Dark. This is like game... I thought I heard something. It's like Game Boy Color green and gray, basically. Oh. So we're looking for wood that is not soaking wet. Or else... We are gonna freeze to death. And that looks like a good tree. This old tree seems dry enough. Perfect. Can I chop? There we go. Did that just move? Is that all I need? Um, still not sure why that tree moved, though, and made a groaning noise. Anyone else kind of, you know, suspicious about that, potentially? Had some good lumber, rookie, but it's not enough to last for the night. Go ahead and bring some more. Okay. At least he said thank you. I was expecting uh, a lot less than that, to be honest. So can we go collect more wood from that same tree, or do we need to... Did it get quieter? God, I, I have no idea what made a scream. Oh! The horses? Oh my God, our camp was attacked. Oh no. Horses are gone. My team is gone. And there's a trail of blood leading deeper into the forest. And there's another one of those trees. Oh. They're strung up. Oh. They're strung up on the tree? What is that?
What are they? Goblins? What? Where am I now? I'm in the Lost Woods from Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Get out! I can barely see! There we go. Ooh! I don't like the noises. Am I inside of a tree? Oh! Okay, I don't know what I expected to happen. Let's try that again. So, it's not just scripted. There is something in here chasing me. Let's go, let's go this way here. Come on. I hear breathing. He's around here somewhere. Come on. Stop. I know there's probably multiple of you in here. This game has a very unique visual style. But it's in a way where I almost can't see what I'm looking at sometimes. There's that scream again. Oh, okay, we got out. And I am covered in something. Okay, so those trees were alive. And I think that scream was that creature that is a tree, some giant organism, I don't know. And those little guys were like the keepers of it, I think. I don't really know, but that was well done. Guys, these were three legitimately scary games. Three great experiences all in one episode. This has got to be the best episode of Behind Closed Doors we have ever had, no question. It has to be. Maybe I'm wrong. You guys tell me whatever your favorite episode was, but regardless, thank you for joining me. I love you guys very much. Please be safe, and I will see you in the next one.